Our first one is from Becky Owen, and she said, how do you optimize recovery with so little time for recovery? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really difficult. Um, and it's like, a, I'd say it's one of the primary issues that we, we face in, in ballet healthcare and, and in professional ballet on the whole, like the, 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 the demands of their schedule are, are so extreme. Um, so that they are really lacking time to do anything. And often, you know, I generally default to like the sort of three main pillars of recovery, whether that's sleep, hydration and nutrition. So, Mm. you know, having regular conversations with people about those, those areas and and trying to get under an understanding of, um, whether they're hitting those things first, um, before sort of recommending like additional or supplementary methodologies and, um, you know, like we do offer those things, like we have lots of different elements of performance nutrition in our healthcare suite that we offer them. So whether that's like snacking to facilitate if they have short or non-existent rest breaks and protein powder and hydration um, uh, powders and that sort of thing. Um, we have like, uh, you know, equipment to facilitate recovery, like, you know, the the recovery boots or some people might know them as like Normatex, but we've got the recovery boots. Um, and then, you know, reinforcing positive recovery strategies like um, stretching and mobilization and, and cooling down and, and warming up correctly before and after each session that they might have to do. Um, and then in some extreme instances where we have, you know, where we notice that the schedule is really busy, like we'll have open and frank discussions with um, artistic staff about um, either the group collectively um, and kind of what their workload looks like or on an in- individual basis because um, like some of the things that we'll measure and we'll track and we have dashboards for are looking at um, like rehearsal rehearsal time and if we see like big spikes in individuals rehearsal time um, we can then look at like what productions those are across and then how that is structured the following week and see if there's any spaces where that can be reduced um Mm. and then like i guess you know on a similar thread to that like there's been occasions where we've had conversations with artistic staff about potentially pushing back the morning class so then if they've got a really late performance or they've had multiple late performances in a row you know they might not be getting a full eight hours because if if they finish at 10 30 and take a little while to get home and just take some time to unwind and eat food. Then they could go to bed, you know, in the early hours of the morning and then they have to be back up and in the building for 10.30 again the next day. So so if we can push that class time of 10.30 back potentially a couple of hours and give them a bit more time to to be in bed and and to get some sleep, then then that can also facilitate it. 